What's going on, believers? Guys, the cryptocurrency market is just in the dumps. It's in the tank. It always seems to be going down. All is not lost, however. We're going to look at the chart right now. We're going to take a look, uh, get an idea of what's going on. We're right where we were 24 hours ago. This is not financial advice, but somehow, some way, I keep coming up with funky ass stuff like every single day, but I'm also always right. Trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. Big profit. All right, guys, it's almost like a running joke at this point. 24 hours ago, we were at this point. We are down 0.25% to the previous day, down only 47 points to where we were 24 hours ago. The amount that we are down is barely even registered at this point. Uh, it looks like we're also starting to get just a little bit of a pump right now. Uh, it's not going to be sustained. I don't think that it'll be sustained for, for very long uh, because that's been the nature of this market right now. And it's felt a little bit tired and it feels a little bit worn down. Now, we may get a little bit of action the Asian markets have taken over. And if you've been paying attention for any length of time, you will know how weak America is. America is like the 200 hitter uh, in uh, the baseball game. He's the guy that sits on the bench and strikes out a lot. But you know what? He can catch a fly ball, so he gets to play in the game. Uh, America is just weak-handed right now. But you know what? America will come through when it matters. Apparently, it doesn't matter at this point right now. So we're, we're watching a lot of pump, a lot of dump. We're watching a lot of sideways trading. We're, lots, we're watching a lot of things that we don't think. Um, it, it's not feeling really good right now. But here's the thing that should be feeling good. And these are the things that we should be looking for, the positives in the crypto market. And let's talk about one of them right here. Addresses holding at least one Bitcoin has reached an all-time high of 873,043. That's right, 873,043 individual wallets now hold at least one Bitcoin. The number of addresses holding at least one Bitcoin has reached that all-time high. It's continued and continued and continued to move upwards. Now, guys, this is the sort of thing that we're talking about when we're talking about mass adoption. Now, it's not 18 million, and you know, one day we're going to have about 18 million. I, I believe it's safe to say that there's about 3 million tokens that have just disappeared that'll never be found again. That leaves about 18 million total. So over the course of time, 873,000. That's a level of adoption that we've never seen before. We're consolidating in a market right now. And the market doesn't look strong. It does not look strong. But guess what? It's sitting and hovering around a trillion dollar market cap. So it's not without finance. It's not without capital. What it's without right now is strong Americans. What it's without right now are Americans with the testicles, with the fortitude, with the um, with the desire for that better life, for that um, early adoption investment area. And you know what? I'm just kidding. Guys, listen, you guys that are talking, uh, you guys that I'm talking to, the, the people that are listening to me right now, you guys are the future, right? We're going to adopt cryptocurrency. We're going to continue to accumulate cryptocurrency. But guess what? We're just going to sit back right now. We're going to wait for the institutions. Those institutions, they're coming. They're going to be along very, very shortly. Uh, right now, they have to eat cheddar biscuits or whatever stupid shit they do right now. Just remember, they're coming. And when they come, they're going to be bringing billions upon billions upon billions of dollars back into this market. They're going to pump us to the moon. And everybody in this space is going to get sent. So uh, I'm messing around. I'm playing around. I'm giving you guys a hard time. Just kind of um, doing what I do right now. Just to give you a little bit of idea here that, you know, we're down right now. We're eating it. Uh, it's weak. America is just weak. And we see it. It's just been going down all day because of weak Americans. But guess what? Uh, the European, the Asian markets... Uh, the Middle Eastern markets, they're strong. They will hold this up until America wakes up one more time and we get on this big parabolic run. So just have no fear, but let's move on. Guys, remember this. We are on the precipice 
of almost a million people holding at least one Bitcoin. Never thought we'd be here. Nobody thought that we'd be here, yet here we are. Mass adoption is starting. Mass adoption is happening. We're seeing it manifest itself day in and day out. What we're not seeing is we're not seeing... What we're not seeing is we're not seeing institutional money. What we're not seeing is institutional money come into the market right now. That takes a little bit more time than what we have going on right now. That institutional money, it'll return. Uh, but the markets have got to relax. Recession has got to get under control. The inflation numbers are out of control right now. All of these pieces... Uh, the, the conflict in the Ukraine, everything that's going on right now, all of these things need to have some sort of resolution. Once we have some sort of resolution to some of that, then that will cause these markets to just take off. If tomorrow Russia pulls out of the Ukraine, these markets will go wild. So we are just probably days away because Russia can't keep doing this. You know that. I know that. Even Russia knows that. Um, as soon as this is over, as soon as that conflict is ended, then this thing's going to start to move. It's going to start to go crazy. Um, then we'll probably have another dump again. Then we'll deal with inflation. We'll deal with recession. Uh, in inflation, by the way, uh, things have been coming down. Prices have been coming down, but the, the recession number is a 12 month number. So we'll see, uh, we'll see the inflation number is a 12 month number. We'll see what that looks like. And then we'll see whether it's gone up or it's gone down. And then the BPS that come out next month, uh, we'll see where that is. And you know what? Maybe this market will take off after all. This is not financial advice. My name's Bleaves, and I am always right. And I remain hopeful that this market will get its shit together real soon. Looking for the good life, good life.